fam, this is your boy Gershon and welcome to Enter the Nerd. So today we're going to be talking about uh, the Batman, uh, Matt Reeves the Batman and what we actually got a chance to see during the weekend if anyone got a chance to see the footage from um, uh, DC Fandom. Uh, we learned quite a bit and we got a chance to see a new trailer for it. So let's just talk about what we might have thought about it or what, what I really think it, it means, right? So uh, a couple of things. When I watched that trailer, um, I was actually pleasantly surprised. I've been worried for months uh, trying to figure out how this is going to be. And obviously, this is footage I think they might have shot before um, the whole COVID thing. I believe so. Um, either way, what I saw, I was pleasantly surprised because it came with some information that uh, really gave clarity, which is one thing, it takes place in its own little bubble. It's going to be like its own trilogy away from the rest of the DCEU. That's perfect. Because the one thing I was worried about was how this series was going to mesh with the rest of the, how is this Batman going to mesh with Henry Cavill's Superman or Gal's Wonder Woman, right? How? And it turns out, like, that might not be something I have to worry about at all, which is great if it's in its own bubble. And uh, when I got a chance to actually see the trailer, there were some really cool things. Number one, um, they are really focusing on the detective aspect because right in the first scene, we see him walk into a crime scene where there's a whole bunch of uh, Gotham City police officers. We see... Uh, Commissioner Gordon, and they already have a good relationship. And you see him hand them like that envelope that says, you know, to the Batman, which means that, you know, whoever's doing this is aware of him. Now, this film apparently takes place in his second year of being Batman, um, which is cool because I think this is going to borrow from the whole year one storyline, which if anyone hasn't got a chance to read that, please do or look up something about it, whichever one is easier for you. But it was an awesome story that... Uh, focus on literally what the title says, the first year of him being Batman after he came back from studying abroad of martial arts, science, tons of stuff to make him become Batman. Now, what's also notable about this take on Batman is that um, the way Bruce, oh, I'll say, the way Bruce Wayne looks. So in the comics, Bruce Wayne has always been kind of like the mask, like the real him is Batman and then Bruce Wayne's the fake him. But he seemed a little just disturbed, like just there's always like this look of seething rage in every single time you see him, and even when he's in his suit. So I'm just wondering, like, is is he gonna be the playboy? Is there going to be a cover personality in this? Because they almost seem like they're the same person in the suit and out of the suit, um, and that's that's a little worrisome. But it might not if it fits right. Um, and I I do think it's really borrowing from year one, like a lot, especially when I saw him in the motorcycle. And there's actually like a, a certain part of year one where uh, Commissioner Gordon is fighting um, this gangster named Falcone, very famous uh, in Batman mythology. And they like take his infant son and there's like a motorcyclist chasing the gang. And the motorcyclist is Batman, which or Bruce Wayne, which you actually see in the trailer. You see him in like a motorcycle outfit too, which I'm like, okay, cool. We also see Catwoman. Catwoman looks pretty cool, pretty cool on air. From what we see, we see a, a very short thing. We even see them get like a little mini fight scene and you know, it is what it is with that. That didn't look bad. Um, speaking of fight scene, he had a little fight scene uh, between a guy who pretty much says, like, who are you? And he beats him down pretty brutally, which I like. Um, I'm only worried about, because that was a very close, a very close up fight scene. So I wonder how his flexibility is in the suit. Because obviously from like here to here, he did tons of damage and then even like, you know, hammered down on him. But I want to see like if he's fighting like four or five people. What his movement's gonna be like, which is what I really liked about Ben Affleck's Batman was when he was in the warehouse. Like that suit was made of obviously like bulletproof material, but it didn't hinder his movement. And it was one of the bad things I hated about Christian Bale's Batman was that he had to almost turn his entire body to even get any movement down. So I hope this is not the same thing with this suit here. Um, but, but once again, tons of mystery here. Um, also, there's supposed to be a spinoff supporting this series that. Um, is about Gotham in particular, like a, a detective who is witnessing Batman's like first year and he's corrupt as well. And I like that they're putting like an in-between spin-off to support the other films. That's great because now it means Matt Reeves is really building the universe that he wants to build. So obviously if I'm gonna say this again, if this was in the rest of DCU, I'd be very scared. But within his own bubble and with his own artistic view, I like it. And we're getting a part of Batman that we haven't gotten really, which is the detective. And I like it. I also wonder if they're borrowing Earth One elements, because they said that some of the crime might be tied to his family. And in Earth One, not Year One, but there was like an Earth One comic where his mom was actually Arkham. 
like she was her she, her maiden name was uh, Martha Arkham, and she started the whole Arkham um, Asylum thing. So pretty much, mental illness was kind of in his family. Uh, yeah, and he kind of looks a little bit disturbed. So I'm wondering, like, and, and, and to be honest, Batman, if you understand the comic, Batman is disturbed. He is like, and people don't they want to tell you the genius? No, no, no. He's he's someone who's never actually gotten over his childhood trauma, and he's chilling himself by dressing up as something fearsome and fighting crime. You know, so yeah, uh, but. This entire trailer that I saw, I didn't have any negative feelings about it. I, I mean, there was something, like I said, there was some nitpicky things, but at its own thing, it didn't show me anything bad. However, all the in-between stuff, we have to see when we actually watch the movie. And I love the fact that we saw the Riddler. That is cool. But now we didn't see the Riddler, but we knew the Riddler was uh, the main villain from like what they revealed at the end. And that's great because we, now we're talking about really expanding on the whole detective aspect. I love that. I love that. So now we're really gonna get someone who's gonna challenge him mentally. While there is, there are gonna be some physical, some physical um, barriers for him to have to overcome. I love that. I love that. So let me know if you agree and you're like, oh yeah, I really like this trailer. I'm excited. Or this is not my Batman. I want him to be jumping over buildings and being alongside Superman. Whichever one is okay. Let me know down below. Keep on watching trailers and please remember, enter the nerd. nerd.